Morning YouTubers. I've just drawn this uh, rough villagey Norfolky type Norfolk. Uh, I want to do a misty scene. Uh, I put a church tower in because apparently you, you never find a Norfolk village without a church. Mostly medieval church. <clears throat> so I'm going to give that I've wet the paper already, so I'm going to give it a bit of a, a soak. I'm going to do a, a, a blue and grey wash all over. It's coming down to the base here. We're not going to put too much in the base because that's where we're going to come into some non-misty bits. And Working a bit of bit of raw sienna, not a lot, just a just a just a touch over the rest of it. Okay, I'm using uh, Cot Cotman Cotman watercolors. I keep them moist. In a stay wet palette, um, so that they're sort of nice and soft when I work on them. And uh, I prefer, I, well, I'm not really used to artist quality paints, although I have them in my smaller paint boxes in my studio palette. I Go back to these, the, the, the burnt sienna in common is sensational, as is the scadmium yellow, they're very strong, stronger maybe than they should be. So don't say that too loud because uh, they might stop putting the prices up. Right, now I, I just, I'm just going to give that a bit of a, a dry, a little bit, because I want to put the background in. This is a 90 pound rough paper. Uh, right, let's put in some trees. So, so it's a bit of a, a slightly darker mix of those misty colours. So let's just put those over those cottages at the back. This will all sort of go to nothing. Let's just put some in there as well over a bit of uh, unwet paper. Okay, so while that's fine, let's put in some bit of yellowy, autumny colours. This is just sort of a hedgerow type of just doing this while the other soaks in. <coughs> I'll put some some in here. And I can paint into that. Because I know that the, uh, the paper is very, very forgiving. Yeah, nice bit of bit of warm warm in there. Right, and as that dries, I can do more with it. Right, now that the path, I'm going to use a bit of burnt 
or the road, a bit of burnt umber, a bit of Payne's Cray. Okay, so we can put a bit of bit of uh, texture into that. Let's go to a flat brush now. Uh, inch flat, I think. There we go. Swig of tea. All right. So background that these will be something like that. A bit more blue. Might even put a bit of burnt sienna on there. Now Norfolk would be mostly uh, pan tiles. Oh, let's uh, just put those in. Got a bit of a grey in here. Oh, that's a bit. Oh, well, that, that'll all dry. Right, sir. Can do an awful lot with this paper. It's very absorbent, <coughs> but it seems to behave itself quite well. So, uh, a bit of a bit of umber down there. sure about that there might be a bit too prominent that the old house at the end bungalow get this in here I'll assume this the light is coming from one side but this is sort of used uniformly spread all over the place no shadows really probably just a slightly dark a bit around here Well that's coming on, um, but it all takes time to dry, so I'm just going to help it, so mute your sound.
ready or skip forward Now with the hay kind of, and some bluey grey, I'm just going to just might be better with a rig for, for this. Alright, let's try the rig up. I might go over some of this with some dry brush in a moment. This is just this might be a bit strong, but that will die back. I don't want these to to be so detailed because the paper was too dry. And it's looking that way, isn't it? That's a bit better, a bit more ghostly. I've got to do something with that, that's uh, not quite. Okay, a bit of detail in. Let's get oh, let's get this one out of the way first. You get some good lines with the rigger, provided you've got plenty of water on it. I'm going to come over that with the uh, tissue as well. Let's just add a bit of detail in that. So.
Okay, so this is some of hedge rubby stuff. This hike is just starting to lose its hairs now. It's, it's had a good innings. That's a cricket turn. I'm going to use this little hake here. I've got two on order. Uh, an inch, well, a 30 mil Ron Manson hake and a, another replacement for that one. Start to wear that in. I want to just. Just warm that up a little bit. That. Just a little bit of detail, just dragging over the drying paper. paper. I like that one. Okay, now we need some more warm in these houses now, so. So let's uh, sort of a warm bit of alizarin, I think, and a bit of umber. in there. A little bit warm in there, I think. Not bothered about it bleeding a little bit.
Okay, need to do a bit of final work now. Uh, Shaky, yeah. That's my wrist. Listen to myself here. Well, I'm not doing any great detail here. I'm just. I tried not to connect those. Uh. Right, I'm just going to do this road, a bit of dry brush. Move this. See, see how flat this paper st stay, stays. to move sideways in there. Okay. Let's uh, just try that. I'm going to put in a figure or two. I think I need to, to lift out some light there. So, finish my tea. Alright, tissue, damp brush. Uh, let's just soften, soften that. No teeth, very little detail in that. So we lost all the detail there. Let's just do it to a bit there as well. Okay, right. figure Now this could be an unmitigated disaster. So, so uh, now these have got to be in scale. So 
That's the horizon. So a little real factor, a little potential. Oh. Yeah, that's right. It's a bit of a head. Dark grey trousers. Probably not so uh, big enough. Well, that's all right. Bit of a shadow there. Okay, not much more I can really do with that. Uh, put a mount on it. No birds lost in the mist. You see how light that's dried? That went from ten times more, well, ten times as uh, as deep as that, but look, it's dry to that, and this is sort of, so I've probably gone a little bit light there, but. Uh, that is it. Uh, let's put the mount on. Put a blue mount on, I think. So a little bit of ice, my effort of a of a misty scene, misty Norfolk village. I hope you enjoyed that. Seago painted some beautiful village scenes. Uh, probably I could straighten up that wall there, that's sort of... Let's pick it up, let's just turn that one up. Yeah, right, that's it, I can't think I'd do anything more, They've got, other than probably put some uh, Another couple of little figures up here. Right, I've noticed that I put a hat on him, but I've I could just bring those down a little bit more. But I've kept the head separate from the bodies, the, but the heads are in line with the top of this guy here. Best of the feet go up. So it's just a little bit of detail. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.